Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, uh, today in the sixth meeting, probably the weather is a bit different from usual. I hope everybody stay safe at home and do our discussions. Today, I, uh, I would like to continue our discussions about like developing tasks, test tasks and blueprint. But previously, we've discussed about validity later. We are going to go back to that. Um, something that I'm going to say to you is that I really, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry for kind of like jumping idea from one idea to the other idea. But for me, finishing one thing, it will be better before we move to the next level okay so basically um as you can see from the next slide we have the consideration of designs component and qualities and usefulness in developing testers um we are going to consider about four aspects based on from the um bahman palmer's book that we are going to consider like validity impacts practicality authenticity interactiveness reality but it doesn't mean that we are going to consider like all of the aspects but we are going to uh, learn one by one starting from the validity concepts previously we've discussed about the content validity i hope you remember the type of the validity and we agreed that we are using the content validity in this case do you still remember about that the definition and so forth Okay, even though uh, Bahman Palmer's uh, defined as the highest status of validity is the construct validity in which that you as the um, teacher, for example, when you try to analyze your test, it has to be, um, you know, like construct validity has the highest level, which means that you or it means that you are uh, assessing the ability general whatever um, the measure that you have been taught but it's going to be like the overall ability that's the meaning of the construct because of you are school teacher uh, it's not going to be easy for you to do the construct validity you as a teacher you have to be able to at least analyze the content validity previously in the last meeting we've discussed about the content validity using person product moment correlations we did it manually um and i um and today we are going to continue to how to cons uh, how to do the content validity using the um excel okay but before that before that i'm going to remind you we are going to go back that in order to developing tests I believe the tax is about like you have defined the purpose of the tax and then the definition of the construct to be measured. Construct can be skills, yeah. And then the characteristic of the settings uh, of the test tax, time allotment, instructions, and then relationship between input and response. So what you are going to ask and then the expected results uh, like what. And then the last component, it deals with the scoring method. Probably you haven't had the scoring method. Previously, I've checked some. Please add the scoring method. Okay, after you develop, um, again, I'm going to remind you that you have to develop the effective instructions. Effective instruction means making instruction understandable from language and example if needed. And then design the task types. You have to read more, Brown, 2003. For example, whether you are going to consider a short answer, reading by such multiple choice, intensive listening, responsive listening, selective listening, extensive listening, imitative speaking, imitative, oh, sorry, intensive speaking responsive speaking interactive speaking interview extensive speaking perceptive reading selective reading interactive reading extensive reading in uh, imitative writing intensive writing responsive writing extensive writing and so forth you have to design the task type decide it and design it and after that don't forget to uh Design the scoring method, writing scale, criteria for correctness, and then after that, create the questions. Okay. 
And now we are going to go back to the second slides about like the validity itself. Previously, we've discussed about a validity, content validity using manual procedure, and then we applied the person product moment correlation. Okay, and today in this meeting, we are going to discuss um, the validity procedure using Excel. Okay. So I'm going to, I have like the link over there, but I'm, we are going to learn it together, uh, the slide. So what you are going to do is that you have to download the file first um, on the WhatsApp group and I've posted on Alita actually. So basically I'm going to, um, wait a minute. So you are going to go to Alita and download the uh, Excel. I've downloaded the file. Oops. Is it? No, not this one. Okay. Okay, this one. So I have uh, the Excel that you may uh that we are going to identify together uh the number of the respondent is quiet okay we have like 20. oops we have like 20 question uh 20 questions for 20 respondent but probably is not going to be easy for you to identify so i'm going to delete sums and not consider like questions number I could just click content. Okay, so what we are going to do is that we are going to look for the sums of y here. Okay, I'm going to use like the capital letters. And again, we are going to use Excel. So we are going to use sum. It's much, much easier using Excel actually rather than using manual like previously. Okay, and then you are going to sum from B2 to P2. Okay, and then you are going to have like this. You are going to put your arrow on the corner and then just track down and you are going to see like the sum of the y very uh, well fast actually and then we are going to identify the x the x and x y or um yeah and then r table has to be like small table r table okay so we have two sum up first actually it's not really needed but i need to know like um like student num um like question number one answer correctly by the students and then stop here Okay, and then we are going to start calculate the um, validity using the formula. So the formula we like this equal, and then you are going to write down corral. And then because we are going to know the validity number one, we are going oops, sorry, we are going to okay corral. Then you are going to block uh, question number one from B2 to B21. Okay. And then the second formula, you are going to see the correlation K1 to the total. So after that, you are going to block the Y from K2 to key 21 and then square and then you are going to have the brackets and then click enter 
Oops. Okay, whatever the result is. And then 